All right, in this video, uh, I want to briefly go over how to purchase a domain and point that domain to your hosting. So a lot of people who use, uh, for instance, Bluehost or GoDaddy, purchase their domain from GoDaddy and they host it at GoDaddy. Uh, same with Bluehost or, or you know, SiteGround, which is what I use. Um, but what a, a lot of people don't know is you can actually get the domain for a, a little cheaper if you go to like let's say Namecheap or um, even sometimes purchasing a domain from GoDaddy and pointing it elsewhere. So anyways, I I don't know. I like Namecheap. There's hundreds of ways you can buy a domain. But the reason I, you know, I use Namecheap for all of mine. So my hosting is with SiteGround. Uh, now there's a reason why uh, a lot of people are like technical. Hey, I don't like to keep it all in one house. That's really not a concern of mine. The biggest thing is this. So I want to purchase this domain right now, um, and it's 1069 a year. Uh, if I go into SiteGround, my hosting, the same domain as you see here, um, is worth it's, it costs me 14.95 a year. So a lot of times it's it's just a few bucks um, to buy it outside. Now, if there is a level of technical complexity. So if you don't want the technical compl complexity, just pay the couple dollars more a year and buy it in your hosting. But I'm going to do it uh, today uh, here and show you how it works. So here I've got it all set up and ready to go. I'm going to actually purchase this and check out. I already have an account um, with uh, with Namecheap. So. Um, oh, look at that. They took me back out. Um, so anyways, let me go back and purchase. So anytime you want to see if a domain is available, you can just easily type it in, you know, right at the home page. And what it'll do is it'll search as you see, and it'll tell you, it will tell you which domains are available and for how much. So this one's in my cart, view cart, um, because that's what I wanted to do. I'll keep that for a year. This is another reason um, you'll get this free who is guard for every new domain you purchase, which is a bit different from when you do go through your hosting, um, at least for a year, that is. But uh, I actually want to lock this price in for a few more years. So um, I'll, the thing is, once after a year, the price goes up on your domain. So you pay 1069 this year, next year to go up to like 11, the next year, 12. So that's why I like to purchase at least three years or so if it's a domain that I think I'm going to use for a while so I can lock in that $10 or that low price for as many years as as I want to. So that's the only reason I do that. Um, then we can just confirm order. And what's going to happen is I'm going to check out. I'm going to do the checkout and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Um, I'm process. I paid via PayPal. Uh, and as you see, it's processing. So while it's processing, here's what we'll need to do uh, to point a domain name to your hosting. You just need your name server addresses. Now, as I mentioned, I'm using SiteGround for my hosting and they sent me an email when I signed up that told me uh, what those name servers were. And the email is this one, the SiteGround hosting order confirmation. And in here, you'll see these are the two name servers. See, use an existing domain with your new account. Um, uh, here it is, SiteGround Hosting. You will need to point your DNS to our servers. So I just need to put these two addresses in here as soon as this thing is uh, done processing. All right, and there we have it. Uh, my purchase is complete. And all I'm going to do is go to Manage. And this should allow me to, there we go, transfer DNS to a web host. I'm going to click that. And then there we go. Look at this. Specify your DNS servers. Jump back into here. Put server one and put server two and hit save. Uh, it's literally that easy on the Namecheap side. And then what I'll want to do is jump into my hosting. Um, we'll see. All right. Uh, and what I want to do now is actually add a domain. 
So from here, um, I can go to my C panel. Because remember, you're, you're hosting these to know that there's actually a domain there um, to even look at. So I'll just select add on domain. And I'm going to type in, there we go, add the domain. And after that, you'll see it displayed right down here. Um, there you go. The, your new domain is there. Uh, the next step, uh, this will be in a separate video, you'll actually install WordPress. And when we install WordPress, it'll actually show here as installed um, as a WordPress installation, just like all of the other domains. So uh, that'll be in another video, but this video is how to purchase a domain through Namecheap and point that domain to your existing hosting at SiteGround, uh, what I use, but it will work with any hosting, whether it's GoDaddy or Bluehost, um, it's all the same.